welcome back to my channel amy here with organized hobbit today i have a haul video um a couple months ago i discovered a shop called jackson's art um it's kind of like jerry's autorama or dick blick or a lot of those um art shops that offer really good prices on art supplies but the amazing thing about this shop that i haven't found in all the a lot of the other ones is the prices are reasonable and the shipping is reasonable like I've looked at it like I looked at Jerry's and the shipping is just insane to where I am and I mean don't get me wrong I know shipping in Canada is usually ridiculous but I mean a lot of times it just keeps me from ordering from them because of the fact that the shipping is so much but um anyway this is an amazing shop and recently they've been having a lot of sales on things that I've been wanting to stock up on things I've wanting to purchase and I figured because I do have a massive things to show you guys a haul would be really great I do save up to purchase like out of town and stuff Thankfully a lot of what I've wanted to buy has actually been on sale through Jackson's art um, Now I will do a quick disclaimer saying this might seem like a lot you might like go look at the website and see the price and be like Oh my god, why are you spending so much money? Like why you know? I'm an adult who has a job who can save up for things you know I understand not everybody can afford the same things and that's completely okay you know buy yourself but my greatest advice to anybody especially artists and crafters and stuff like that is do your homework look at the sales you know save up see what they have you know check out different websites you know compare shipping and all that stuff and you can always find great deals so just because it seems like a lot doesn't necessarily mean that I paid a significant price tag for these items so just a quick disclaimer there I notice a lot of people comment this kind of thing on a lot of videos like oh my god that's so much like you're wasting so much money let's all just be a little bit kinder because we don't know each other's circumstances right you know so that is it that is my disclaimer let's get into the exciting part so the first thing I will fully admit was a splurge item did I go into this looking for this no however I was in you kind of a treat yourself type of mood it was kind of a really crappy week I really wanted to pick me up and so I purchased this now they were having a sale on all of their schminke stuff so I bought this plus one half pan of in or not half pan but one tube of indigo because I really like using indigo and it doesn't actually have it in the set schminke has always been kind of like a somewhere down the line type brand for me because to buy it like anywhere that I've seen it's like $480 and I can't justify that kind of price tag for paints right now you know especially when you know from what I can see they weren't necessarily you know they were good paints like I definitely wanted to try them but especially after getting them I can't really see how they're any better than any other brand of you know professional watercolor like it, you know they behave very similarly I'm very happy with what I paid for these do I think that they are necessary to everybody that has them that seems to want them? No. I think there's definitely many cheaper comparable brands that are just as good, if not better, than Schwinke. But I do definitely think that they are good paints and I'm very happy, like I said, with the price that I paid for them. Now, I was really torn between getting the 48 set with the tin or the 54 set plus tube in this box because it's obviously is empty now to show you what came, all the pans that came here um ultimately i did decide on this one because a it was cheaper and b i knew i had these little watercolor tints coming that i did buy in a set of five of them that i wish i could buy more of but the seller does not sell them anymore um so i did know that i had a tin coming that i could use them for so i purchased this tin and moved them all into here and it was all like I said cheaper than the 48 set so I'm like why not get seven more half pans for cheaper because I mean individually they're fairly expensive so why not you know and I mean it, you obviously didn't need to buy all of these this wasn't a necessary purchase like in terms of buying a lot of them but like I said I was in a really big treat yourself and I do save so this was a non-guilty purchase it just again I always feel the need to justify purchases and I don't know why this one pan is not sitting properly and it's really bugging me. There we go. Um, but yeah, so obviously as you can see, I've been using it a lot. I'm really liking the paint, but like I said, there's not anything significant with this that I find very different than anything else. I will say as a portrait palette, like bang on, the colors are very subtle, very nice. 
and they work really well together so if you're a portrait painter i definitely think that this is a good palette um, not as a starter palette i think there's definitely more cheap palettes that are you know just as good that you could use but i'm thinking really happy with my purchase and i'm justifying it again anyway the next thing is these watercolor pens now i knew i was going to be buying probably most if not all of the eco line collection um i had what is this this one here chartreuse for a good while and i absolutely loved it like i was using this pen to the point that i knew that it was about to die and i've really wanted to invest in some professional watercolor pens i've also used the winsor newton ones and love them they're very comparable i will do a review of both of these but i wanted to kind of expand my collection because i do like using them a lot in for backgrounds and for just you know sketchy type things just to get tones down and whatnot so i really wanted to invest in these especially um the eco lines but i did end up purchasing some of the winter newton ones when they had their winter newton sale on just to try out because they are quite wonderful to work with i had a green and a pink one that i purchased eons ago that again i loved used up and then decided when they were having their sale to have some of this stuff because they had a massive watercolor sale which is why i got the um schminke and this because they had to just sell on like everything it seems like lately but yeah they're really fun if you're curious like i said brush tip fine point for this one and they're very comparable if you've ever used their brush markers um or their pro markers so i think they're being rebranded to the pro marker and the pro marker brush so that way people know the difference but very comparable in terms of having a brush and a chisel on this end but the brush is very vastly different between the two but the shape of the barrels are very similar um they're just obviously a little bit different in terms of what's in the actual marker but yeah so that is that <laughs> the next thing is some watercolor sketchbooks i have been really curious about landscape sketchbooks i've been loving working in landscape format but all of my landscapes are pretty much done portrait style because that's the paper that I have. Now granted some of them like if I do just like a sheet of paper I obviously turn it if I want to. But I wanted a journal that I could invest entirely in doing landscapes in. And so these were on sale I think I paid maybe 11 and 15 or 10 and 14 something like that. They were a very good price anyway. Um, and these are the Academy Aquarell Hanimule sketchbooks i see these like all over the internet i'm pretty sure oh and i can't remember her name now she calls all of her youtubers bun buns oh bunny something something bunny i can't remember her name and i know jazza uses the professional version of these sketchbooks but i thought i would just dip my toes into the water and get the small one just to try out and then i figured why not just get the big one as well because it was, like i said it was a really fantastic price and it just seemed you know and I needed something to kind of get the free shipping so I was like cart <laughs> but yeah I'm really excited about this it's really nice pages 200 DSM which is a little light but I mean I eh, I don't really care I will find a use for these even if the paper is terrible I don't like wasting stuff but it's very very nice paper and I'll just like leave this here so you guys if you want to read it basically the same information on both sides but so that is that. Um, in regards to paper, uh, I have this bag here of stuff. I have bought several different sort of um, paper from this seller. And I'm just going to pull it all out. So you guys can see. Where's the other thing? Okay. Um, Caddy Papers or Caddy Papers, I don't really know, is this wonderful handmade cotton paper. Um, it comes in various different GSMs, but there's lots of different uh, sort of papers that you can try with it, or different textures and stuff like that as well. And I am in love with this paper. Like, I got this a smaller sketchbook, um, which I think was 15 by 15 centimeters um or 20 no it was 20 by 20 centimeters and I filled that up in like a week like I was so impressed with this paper I was so happy 
and I've recently just got in some actual sheets of the paper. Um, this is the 300 GSM paper and I also got in the, sorry, 320 and then I got some square 320 GSM as well. It's cotton paper. It is beautiful. Like I said, they do also have sketchbooks so I did get some of the bigger squares, the smaller squares. And then these ones here which I was actually really curious about um, just because they didn't seem to be like the rest of them. Like I think it is now that I've gotten it but it was kind of like this really cool size and I love the fact that there's not a lot of wasted materials like there's not pla like there's um like their logo and stuff isn't imprinted on this and then but the whole thing is literally a sketchbook um because a lot of sketchbooks like this one for example the cover is black and whatnot and obviously you can use like Posca pens and stuff on it but I was really loving the fact that I could paint my own cover on these ones because the cover is the same material as the rest of the book and it's nice and deckled and I'm just really impressed with this paper if you can't tell. Um, I've done like I said quite a few paintings. I finished one of the sketchbooks. I did actually use one of the larger ones so I can show you guys to swatch out a lot of my water-based materials just for a quick easy reference and it just the colors are super vibrant on the paper like there's absolutely no issues in terms of that. And yeah, super impressed. If you're looking for handmade watercolor paper and you're like me and you looked at Etsy and shipping was like $24 for a pack of 12 sheets of paper, go to Jackson's Art, buy the caddy paper. You know, you can get tons of like different paper weights and stuff. So there's really no reason not to go and do it. Um, the next kind of thing will be the brushes that I got. I do have a few different types of brushes because on one of the shipments I wanted to get the free shipping. So I invested in just getting a couple things. One of them being these two Karen, Karen Dosh, Karen Dosh watercolor brushes um, in size large and size medium. I think it was this one I just used, so it's very juicy. But these are actually really interesting watercolor brushes in that you can see some water spilled. Sorry, if there's a glare on my desk, it's just water. I swear. But they have this really cool barrel in that. When you open it up, so basically you s take off your lid, there's this little hole, you put it into the water source and you pull back on the barrel and it actually fills up the res reservoir. It's a really unique water brush, I'm not going to lie, it's very interesting on how it works and I really like it because it does give me a lot more control. I think that when I do place my next order I will get the fine tip one. I got the bigger one just because I find a lot of water brushes leak a lot and I use them mostly for creating like backwashes and stuff because a lot of them the water control is terrible and I found that with most brands that I've tried and I don't know if it's just because I'm a very heavy handed person like when I write and squeeze things like I'm like so obviously a part of that's my fault but these are actually really good for that because you can push it out but you also can if you want more water just push it in it'll come right through the reservoir so you do get a lot more control with these ones which is something that I really liked. Um, another thing that I decided to purchase because I wanted a few more travel style brushes is this Escada size 6 round. Um, I have really been interested in the Escada brand. I see a lot of people recommend them especially their travel brushes the gold ones. I've always found them really pricey so I've never bothered with it. But this one was actually a really reasonable price. I think it was only a couple of dollars. And it's, I think, their student grade version of the brush. But I'm really excited to try this out because I'm actually going on a small trip within the next week or so. So I'm going to bring this with me and see how much I really like it. Because I like how small it is. It fits in my travel container really well. So we shall see. The next thing is... And if you hear me fussing, it's just me going in the bag because I dropped or I ripped the container. But I'm, like I said, much more of a fan of traditional brushes. I don't really like the whole water brush thing. So Amazon, or not Amazon, Jackson's Art had this click and go water pot. And I mean, you can obviously mostly get a cup wherever you want. This was like two bucks. So it basically opens up like so if you've never seen one. And you've got tons of room for water. Plus, 
you also have somewhere you can rest your brush, which I really appreciate because when I try to rest it on other things, like obviously it rolls right off. So this being especially the rubber up top keeps your brush sitting there and you know you can wipe up, you know, up to three brushes per painting. Sorry, up to four brushes per painting and you know have your nice cup of water right there for traveling and it goes right down to being very slim i've used it a couple of times to see if it'll retain its sort of shape and it does really well i think that what i'm going to do is hot glue some bumps onto the bottom of this just so that way when i'm cleaning my brushes i can scrub them at the bottom i know they have that tool you can click in and i think it's called a scrubby mate or scrubber mate i don't really know but I think I'm just going to hot glue or potentially if I find something cheap that I can slip in there. We'll see. But otherwise, super happy. Really glad I got this. And this video feels like it's going to be really long. I think we're already at like 15 minutes. But we're just about done. There's only like one thing left to show you guys. And this is kind of like the piece of the resistance of why I've wanted to order. And bam. Now, this is going to be kind of hard to see. But... Jackson's Art had a massive Windsor & Newton sale. With that sale came a lot of their alcohol markers that I have been dying to get my hands on because I have a very small collection of them. They are actually my favorite alcohol markers next to my Copics and I've wanted to get them forever and expand my collection because the ink in these is actually better than the Copic markers themselves. So I, despite the fact that they aren't refillable, you know, you can still refill them with other inks that are similar. So I mean you know and you know they don't come with refills and all that but you can still refill them they're alcohol based markers and whatnot you just obviously once they die they won't get the same ink quality in them but I bought everything I could get my little hands on because I wanted to expand my collection of these so much and I really don't want to knock over my camera so it's gonna be kind of hard to show you guys but this is and I actually didn't order speaking of nothing in general the cases that they come with Jackson's art actually sent them to me um, which I'm guessing is just due to the fact that if you bought so many markers you must get a case I guess um, but they're in here and I got them organized so there is obviously quite a few spaces that I will need to fill over time but I've ordered the ones that I could and I am going to be placing another order within the next week or so I just have to email them back and confirm but look at all the pretty markers. So they're all color coordinated based on the list on the website. They're beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And then, again, this is the other set in here. And then these ones here, I don't know if you can kind of see them. These are the brush markers that are separate from any other of the Pro Marker line. Like, they don't sell these colors in the Pro Markers. So I just used that last line for those ones because I think there's seven or eight that the brush line has that these don't. And, yeah. So they are currently living in here purely because I wanted to keep them organized until I finished getting them all in. But there's this, like I said, beautiful case. Jackson's Art logos on it. It is really nice. Um, I did get the Pro Marker 24 set initially, and then the rest were individual based markers. Um, the 24 set does come with its own sort of carrying case. So if you are curious about that, you can check it up on the website. I have since recycled it just because I wasn't going to use it. But yeah. So that is basically it. Um, thank you guys for watching. If there's anything you guys want to see a little bit more on, let me know. I like doing these fun little haul videos and revisiting the things that I've purchased. I just think it's fun. So, but that is it. Thank you guys as always for watching. Check out my social media down below and I will talk to you next time. Bye!